So there I was, you guys. I was um, I was sitting at my job. I used to be a dental assistant for quite a few years, and I was sitting at my lunch break, and I was eating my lunch. And I bet you all want to know what did I spill in my bag? Yeah. yeah? You you ready? Was it a sandwich? I've heard sandwich. I've heard coffee. I don't really like coffee, so it wasn't that. Uh, wasn't pizza. You want to know what it was? You guys, I don't know what it was. <laughs> she doesn't know what it was. I, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's funny how time makes you forget certain things like that. I really, I think it was a sandwich, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> But anyway, there's a lot of uh, a lot of cute, funny stories out there. But I guess you can keep saying whatever feels right. I guess. <laughs> um, but anyway, all joking aside, um, as I was sitting there and I spilled in, in something that was super frustrating um, at the time because I had this really cute Kate Spade and I spilled on it and I was really disappointed and frustrated. Um, little did I know that that was going to be a life-changing moment for me and hopefully for all of you. Um, such <laughs> um, So, continuing on with the story, I, I spilled on the bag, I got in my car to go home, and Judd, Judd said this yesterday, but the car that I had, I can tell you the car, was a white old Nissan Maxima that had no AC. So I'm driving home um, and I, I'm staring at this bag and I look at the spill on it and I, this is when it hit me, this epiphany. And I was always looking for something great to do and I knew I needed a great product to do it. I just didn't want to do something. I wanted to do something that I knew would work. And so I had this thought. Wouldn't it be cool to change the cover on this bag? I was like, oh my gosh. I about died. I was like driving so fast to get home and I called my husband and you guys, I knew that this was a good idea when I started getting men excited. I call and I try to explain to my husband the best that I could about the concept that I had thought of. And once he finally got it, it was exciting to hear him go, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> so right then and there, you guys, I knew that it was something that I had to do, something that I wanted to do, something that would be great. And little did I know that it would, you know, turn into all of this, which is incredible and, ex and exciting. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I've told some people before is that I really feel like this company, this product, is inspired. I really do. Um, I think that it's meant to be, and it's meant to be something great that can help all of us and other people around us. And I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of you guys. Um, and so, as I uh, came home, told my husband, found out that yeah, a lot of people thought it was a great idea too. Um, I didn't know what to do, so I tried to figure it out. Um, I was really lucky to have been able to find a really good friend and who became my business partner, and some of you may know her, Annette Kavanagh. Yeah. She's not here, but she's around. Um, she uh, went forward with me and we helped develop the bag. and. Um, she was really great and she urged me to think of something to name the bag that was personal. And she said, well, why don't you think of a nickname? And I thought, well, I don't, I don't really have a great nickname. My brothers called me monkey growing up, but I, I don't think nobody, want, you know, nobody wants to carry on a monkey bag. So. But then I realized uh, I was telling this problem to my sister-in-law in the car. And one of them said to me, well, why don't you call it Michi? And I was like, oh, I forgot! My mother-in-law, my cute Cuban mother-in-law calls me Michi, and she still calls me Michi to this day. Um, and so that's where the name came from, and I love her for that, so. <laughs> um, um, so after we decided on the name, and we started to try and develop the bag, um, we really, really want
wanted um, to figure out the best way to sell the bag. We thought of the various ideas, and none of them quite felt right. And this is also where I think the inspired part of it all comes in. That um, we had all these different ideas, and, and we just couldn't sell on one. And I remember the day clearly. I was at a friend's softball game, and I was walking through the parking lot and telling a friend um, about the problem and how we should, you know, I'm not sure how we should do this. And um, then, you know, she said, Jessica, hey, what about the home party business? And right then and there, I knew again, that's it. That's got to be it. Because one thing that we really wanted the need to back to be was something that was empowering for other women as well. We wanted it to benefit other people, not just us. And I'm so happy and, and so proud of what this has become. But, you know, I am honored and I'm, you know, to take it back when you guys tell me thank you for doing this. And I don't think that I've done anything great. I think that you guys have done something great. I think there's no way that this would be what it is if it weren't for you all sitting here and the hard work that you have put in. And so I thank you guys for letting this dream that I have become a reality. I couldn't take that.